Hi, everyone. Welcome to Land Investing Online. I'm Ron. Today, we're going to go over a short tutorial on DataTree. So DataTree is our data source for where we get all of our seller information. We do due diligence on here as well. So I'm just going to go over a very short tutorial on what this uh, tool can do for you. So I'm going to share my screen here. So we have DataTree up. All right. So you guys should be able to see DataTree here. I'm going to hit advanced search. See, this is the home screen right here. I'm going to hit advanced search and we're going to do some search, uh, go over a search. Data tree is something that you get a login to with your land investing online membership if you do decide to join, which is great. So let's just choose a state here. So state, we're just going to do Colorado and we'll do Boulder County, Colorado. Okay, so we have the area right now. There, there's so many things you can do, and I urge you guys to play around with this. Um, but I'm going to go down so you guys can see land use and county land use. This is incredible, just the different things you can put. So if you want to do multifamilies, if you want to send to multifamily owners, you could do that. So here's multifamily residential, four to eight units, nine plus units, and all these different offers or options. Townhome. And then you also have land use. And this is more just the normal land stuff that a piece of land can be uh, that is zoned as. So basically what the land is zoned as and what can be done with the land. Okay, but we're going to scroll down. Obviously, if you want to send to houses, you can do that. And you choose bedrooms. You can choose living area. Do it between something. Um, lot acreage, we are going to use this for land. We're just going to do five to 5.5 so we don't have too many results um and now and now this is going to be so i'm going to hit get count right here oops i did lot area i'm sorry let me fix that so we're going to do lot acreage 5 to 5.5 and get count and you can see there's 714 results this is not just land this has houses as well so I'm going to scroll down and we want to get just land for this example. And like I said, this, this can be used for so many different things outside of land. We use it for other businesses as well or other real estate businesses outside of land. But in assessed improvement value is how we're going to get to be just land. And I'm going to hit zero. So that's basically saying there's no improvements to the land. It's raw land. And now we're going to hit get count. In the course, we'll go over data tree in much more detail and what it can do and how we use it exactly. It's a roadmap essentially for how we use data tree and our other resources. But we're going to hit view results right here. Okay. And we can see 309 results. If it's under a thousand results, you can see it on the map, which is really cool. That's why I wanted to keep the acreage um, pretty close to each other. And we're going to see the map. Let's just look at our tools real fast. So obviously you have zoom in, zoom out. Um, you have these different layers you can add, which I'm going to take off for now. You have terrain, so you can change the terrain. If you want to see the road. But I, I like this one the most, honestly, because I can kind of see the terrain and I can see the roads as well. So I'm going to zoom into some of these. Let's look at some of our parcels that we'd be offering if we were sending a mailer like this. Let's zoom out way out here. Okay, so perfect. You can see the parcel. You can see where it's marked, but where's the parcel? So what we need to do, we need to add this layer so we can see our parcel. So these are some oddly shaped parcels out here. Let's go a little closer to Boulder. Should be a little, there we go. Okay, so you can see all these parcel uh, outlines. Let's see what other tools we can use. So let's say we want to see recently sold, or you can even see for sale. So you can see this parcel right next door is for sale for $1.4 million. And I'm going to be offering on a parcel right here. So that's pretty crazy how expensive that is. Um, and then you can even look at recently sold. So they pull the data from the MLS recently sold. So you can see all of these that just recently sold. It's obviously a hot area, Colorado. People want to be up there. Then if you click, this actually was a house, so we're not going to worry about that. That looks like a house. 
think that's a vacant piece of land right here. So you can click on these sold ones and actually hit view property. Then it should typically sell you, tell you the price. So this is, I know you guys probably don't know, but there's about 45,000 acre or square feet in an acre. So this is just under two acres. Might be right at two acres. It might be right under 45,000. Okay. So you can see all the tools you can do with this. If you want to th see things that are on auction, I don't know. I doubt there's anything up here that are on auction. Um, that's not going to give you anything. If you want to add titles, so that's something that you can see. If you want to add owner names, so you know. So the purpose of that is maybe someone owns a lot of parcels in an area. You can see kind of how much they own. Here you can see that this is these are such small parcels, it's hard. But you can see all these people just own one parcel pretty much. Um, I don't see any repeats. If you want to see APN, which is the parcel number, that's going to come in the same spot. So you can kind of see how parcel numbers are organized. Okay. So the last thing we, we'd show you is exporting. So what you would do, we go back to our search results. Maybe you want to save the search. Maybe you're not ready to uh, buy this data set yet, which is 10 cents um, per record with, uh, our, with our membership. Um, maybe you add search name, Boulder, Colorado, Colorado, 5 to 5.5. And we just keep it on new folder. So then when you come back, if you're ready to do it later, this will be on your home page. So you can hit view. There's 310. Everything's going to stay the same. And maybe you're ready. Like this, this list is the right list. I'm going to export this. So then you'd go to export. And the cool thing is you can even remove duplicate owners from your export. So if you don't want one person to be on your list 15 times and waste all that money, this will actually reduce your list. It's not going to tell you before what it's going to re reduce these 309 to. Maybe it reduces down to 200 or something like that, 220. Um, it's not going to tell you before that, but it's really cool that you won't get charged for the full 309. You'll just get charged for after the re uh, duplicates are removed. Um, but that's basically all I have for you guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, we'll, we'll, like I said, in the course, we go over this in a much more detail, how we use it. Uh, and it's a roadmap essentially for you. But uh, hopefully this helps and uh, thank you.